How you doing folks? So, I had a bit of an accident with my phone. Um, it was snowing recently and the, I was in the back garden and I was holding my phone and I was holding it in my palm like that with the screen facing out. And uh, I slipped, my, my foot slipped and I put my hand out and I, it m mashed my phone right into the a rock that was hidden under the snow and it's kind of I don't know if you can see it very well. The glass is sm smashed and the home button smashed. It still works and that pink line, that was there before. Apparently I was looking online and apparently it's a common issue with a Galaxy S, S7 Edge. But Samsung refused to get it fixed for me even though it was under warranty because the phone was registered in another region because I bought it in a different region just because it was cheaper so that's fun so I'm gonna try and fix it myself and I've, I've looked into it and it's quite it's quite a fixed phone screens before but nothing you know it's quite a uh, technical it's and it's yeah it's either gonna be a it's either gonna end up one or two ways one I'll have a, a nice fixed phone or two, um, I'll just waste hundreds of pounds and everyone on the internet can call me a twat, so I prefer the first option to be honest. So uh, let's get started. So I should have everything I need. Heat gun, new adhesive, clampy suctiony thing, new screen, obviously, and, and some other tools and stuff. So I've got the, still got the cold, had it for about a week. So uh, the first thing is. I've already got my stuff all backed up and um, this isn't going to be a guide this is my first time uh, doing something as technical as this I don't know why I just poked the microphone where is it there is get my SD card and my SIM there we go SIM card SD card turn this off the gloves are, aren't probably necessary, but I don't want to uh, get something stuck behind the the back of the screen, and then when I've all got it sandwiched together, have you know? Okay, put this away for now. Got a, I forget the name of them. One of those uh, custom skins. Well, they're not really custom. B brand. That was the the name of them. The good news is the back glass is fine, so I don't have to replace that. I suppose the bad news is if it was the back glass instead of the, the front, it would have been a lot cheaper. But since I've got to fix the front glass, I might as well fix that screen while I'm at it. There we go. Just stick that here for now. Get that small camera bump one. I'm going to be following along a guide on iFixit. They done a. The title of the video was replacing the screen, but they only showed up to taking it off. They never actually showed how to put the new screen on. So I've got another video from, yeah, let me see, Fix It Planet. They actually show the, the full thing. There we go. Naked. Well, I think it's the heat 
should go next on the back panel. Give it a, a clean, I don't want anything burning up. So I had to buy a new home button as well because that's right where the rock hit. See it a bit better there. Try and get it in focus. Come on. Focus. Focus, focus, focus. There. See it landed right on the home button. And it's spidered out across all the screen, so it would ju it'll just get worse over time if I left it, even though the the screen itself is still working apart from that annoying red line that goes away when you squeeze this part up here it's probably all going to crumble away when I try and take it off as long as it doesn't damage anything else it's fine it should be good enough Let's see if that's done it the charm. Bingo. Looks really weird now, eh? the inside of an S7 Edge looks like. And there you go. Let's pull the piece out. Now hopefully I can get this out without it exploding. After all, it is a Samson battery.
that is the battery. And there's your motherboard. Front camera. Heat gun. Let's give this a try now. Some more heat. There goes the glass. It was broken anyway, it was gonna shatter either way. There we go. It's more heat. My old phone may have been shit, a shit Windows phone, but at least it was easier to fix. Unfortunately, there's there's not really many phones that offer the same specs and features that aren't glue sandwiches. Put pick in to get started. Blast it with some more heat. More heat. Get in there. That should be enough to get a pick in. Probably a good thing I'm wearing gloves with all this glass. This is going to be a bit of a mess getting this bottom part out. Be lucky if I can get it all in one piece. And there's your screen. So I don't know if you can see, but I've accidentally killed the back button there the ribbon cable's been torn but the the good news is to get, well the bad news is I have to in order to get a replacement part for that I need to replace the entire charging port because the, it's all ribbon cabled together but the good news is it's not expensive it was like eight pounds which is like ten bucks next day delivery. So I should be able to at least see if the the new screen's working and get all the old adhesive off until the the uh, back button arrives. It said uh, Wednesday. What day is it? Sunday. Saturday. It says Saturday. So we'll, I'll hoover all this up because I don't want glass everywhere. So I'll I'll see if this works first, because it'd be a royal pain if this if I got my back button, well, charging assembly I put all together and then this didn't work, so I think it's just that one connector that this needs. So it goes on here. That goes in there. I'll just test it temporarily. Moment of truth. Forgot to put the new home button in. Turn it off and put that new home button in. So I think that'll do today. I'll come back when I've got the last piece and I'll get it all finished. So I'll see you then. Okay, so we're back. It's a few days later. It is Friday. We got the the new touch buttons and charging port all comes as one thing so we can finally get this fixed hopefully so we've got to take this all apart again and I kept the the backing still on that you can see and I've just kept it held in with the used up adhesive that was already on there just temporarily because I, I still needed to use it um, while it was like that so hopefully it will be easier to open is what I'm hoping so I've been following the iFixit teardown and in, in my defense of wrecking one of the, the touch buttons I was paying attention when she said be careful of those cables under there and I was like okay well she went in about that much so the cables must be up here 
What I didn't realise is you have to cut a certain way, otherwise you'll catch the the ribbon and, and tear it. But, uh, you know, that's the, the risk you take when you try and do things yourself, I suppose. But, um, luckily it wasn't too expensive, it cost me a few more days where uh, my phone was, you know, working, but it, it wasn't finished, fixed, and I've not been able to use my back button which has been an inconvenience, but it's not been that bad. I think they fix it in the fix it guide. They they had already opened it because it was a lot easier for them than it was for me. Either that, or I just ended up with really strong adhesive. Yeah, this goes on down like this. Good enough, I think. Okay, hopefully this time will be the time where everything works. Got a screen, got that last time. I'm not seeing those buttons yet. Got that light up there, that's good. I still need those. Hmm, sort of. Check Wi Fi and. Yep, Wi Fi is working, mobile data, network's working, Bluetooth is working. Okay, yeah, let's finish putting it back together. See if it charges. Not familiar, unable to charge. Charging pause, battery temperature too low. That's interesting. Wireless charger. It's always some. No dice. Well, it's been how long? Another two hours, so I'm gonna have a break while I figure this out. Okay, so we're back again after about two weeks. Um, yeah, I've had enough time to regroup, get my mor morale back, and now uh, ready to have another crack at it. 
got some things here. I've got a couple of extra batteries and another charging flex cable thing. I don't know why I've got two batteries. I ordered one, but whatever. I ordered batteries because it's probably the flex that's the problem, but I don't want to open it all up and then it turns out it was the battery all along. So I bought a battery, it was only like £10, so I just want it to be finished and just getting annoyed at this point. I also got a, another phone just to do me in the meantime. It was just a cheap unlocked phone, I just put my SIM in it. But yeah, so hopefully third time's the charm. So let's get in again. Hopefully I won't need to use the heat gun. I don't think the adhesive that I replaced it with is as strong as the stuff they put on in the factory, but we'll find out. So I need to be careful because although the, the, like the battery and the flex cable, they're pretty cheap, the screen is not cheap. It was like £180. And if this was from the factory adhesive, that screen would not come off intact. But I'm praying, fingers crossed, that it's, I'll be able to get it off without damaging it with this adhesive that's on it, because I don't think it's as strong as I've said, so here goes nothing. Okay, so I'm just going to temporarily put the battery in, a new one, and see if that's the reason I wasn't charging. It, was, it would save me taking the front off if that was the case. So hopefully there's a little bit of charge in this. So I suppose it doesn't matter, I can just plug it in. Just need to know if it'll charge. There we go. Let's see if it'll turn on. So far, so good. Now let's see if it charges. Nope. So it's definitely the, the flex cable. Is that moving itself or is it just me? a stroke or something or is that moving itself it's definitely moving itself I think it's just the table and it's sliding slowly no it's not haunted I don't think <coughs> so let's get all these off I'm going to have to get the battery out and the screen off to get to the other side of those ribbon cables I hate doing the battery it feels so wrong like you're gonna slice it and it'll blow up. Okay, now I need to get the screen off without killing it. There we go. Futzed it a bit here. Just kind of do that and hope for the best. Well, I can see if it seems to be intact. Okay, I guess it's now or never to find out. Is it bricked? Never put the battery in. That's why. Okay, let's try that again. So that ended up being a massive fail, massive waste of time and money, but uh, I thought about not making the video, but really it's, it'd be more of a waste if I, if I didn't make it. Um, at least it's 
somewhat educational and entertaining and probably satisfying to watch such an epic fail but uh, yeah so like I said at the video go down in the comments and have your shots come on let's hear it hey um, so I, I threw in the towel after that replacement screen broke it just wasn't it just wasn't worth repairing anymore it wasn't worth buying another screen so I caved and bought the S9 plus and I didn't really need a new phone I mean it's nice to have 4k at 60 frames per second but I didn't need a new phone to get that uh, I thought I, I, I was still perfectly happy with my, my S7 Edge but uh, that is what it is so I've sold all the, the spare parts and I put my what's left of my phone up on eBay for spares and whatnot. so after all you know told that it's it's kind of as if I've just bought a new phone outright and not sold my old one so I've kind of lost out on the the resale of an upgrade so I've kind of had to just buy, you know buy straight up and not get any kind of money back from selling the old one but uh, oh well at least it's like I said somewhat educational and entertaining and so yeah that's it the saga is over finally and it's nice to have a decent phone working again that uh, backup phone I got it was, it was fine but it had a potato screen and camera compared to this one so oh and I did get a screen protector for this one so hopefully if, it, if a, a rock ever appears out of the snow again it'll be the screen protector that gets it and not the screen so yeah uh, thank you for watching see you later